that I love you Wouldn't put no one above you Yeah, yeah, yeah That should never ever worry you That should never ever worry you Always gotta stay 100 and true The only time I lie is when I lie with you Put my pride to the side and then I slide with you soldier fam if you are new to our channel make sure you hit that subscribe button comment down below turn on post notifications so you'll be notified when we upload a new video what she said yes yeah. so in today's video we're going to be talking about all things IVF. yeah uh this is a completely different journey that we took with arlo so we're excited to kind of give you guys a sneak peek. Well, not really a sneak peek anymore. Really just let you know what we did and the process and uh, yeah, how it was different than the first time around. Yeah, so it was completely different actually. <laughs> um, and I know that we are now at the end of our journey in pregnancy. I am two days away from being 39 weeks pregnant. So Jeez. full term here um, and baby is gonna be coming any day now at this point. Yeah, that's wild. That's wild to say. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of crazy. I'm very much feeling it. I'm feeling <laughs> very pregnant right now. Um, but doesn't she look good though? Okay, one thing about Asia and a pregnancy, honey, she's gonna make sure that everybody's like, dang, maybe I wanna be pregnant. You had me thinking, I was like, do I wanna be pregnant? No. Sorry. I'm just playing. Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm feeling great under the weather. But um, happy to be here, happy to tell you about our TTC journey part two, baby number two, eventually, yeah. and let's get right into it. So with our first baby, we did IUI, which is? Intrauterine insemination. Correct. And then with this baby, we did reciprocal IVF. Yes. IVF is in vitro fertilization, yeah. and the reciprocal part of it is essentially where you take your partner's eggs and um, fertilize. Fertilize. Go ahead. Right. You, I'm gonna let you explain. Ah, okay. My tongue. Okay. So basically, um, your partner or yeah, your partner's eggs get retrieved, fertilized, then implanted. Correct. Um, yeah, that's essentially how it happened. Um, so with IUI, you can use your own, use your own right. eggs. Um, and then with reciprocal, with IVF, you can use your own eggs as well for a reciprocal that's what makes it different yeah is that you use your partners or donor, donor eggs, eggs yeah. um yeah whichever works best for you and your family yeah so yeah that's that's exactly it um so this time around i think i played a, a bigger part i guess as to like how this whole ttc thing went I agree. yeah um i had to go i had to be on medication uh, i had to take i don't even remember at this point it was like a list of yeah. a bunch of different medications that you know cause our body to like produce more eggs and stuff like mm -hmm. that um and i think at the beginning i started with what 32 this is so just to back up a little bit we did two rounds of egg retrieval um we did. with soy because the first time we only after genetic testing and everything we only had one healthy embryo yep that's it which is I mean, Crazy. that's all you really need to get pregnant, but we don't want to risk it. Yeah. And if we didn't get pregnant, we would have to do the whole thing again. Um, so why not just do it again? Yeah, so that's exactly what we did. Um, we did one round, and like Asia said, it was one viable embryo. And viable, you know, that's uh, subjective, right? Like, mm -hmm. they're looking for certain things like complete DNA, chrom chromosomal or abnormalities, all types of things like that when they yeah. um, test chromosomes. So overall, um, we had one. And so we decided let's just do it again because at the end of the day like you know it wouldn't hurt and even if the first one didn't stick we would have to do it again anyways yeah so that's what we did um and, and wait even yeah. longer right so, like, so it's like why do it why do it so we were like you know what let's just go forward let's do one more time the retrieval um luckily you know we we're able to do that a lot of people aren't as fortunate um so we're definitely blessed that we were able to do another round as soon as we finished the first almost. Mm -hmm. um, I think my body had to like, I forgot what was the downtime where I couldn't be on the meds again for like, what was it, like two good. weeks or something, a month? I don't know. I think we waited like a month. Yeah. We also had some time where she took some vitamins. Yeah. To help oh, her yeah. produce like some, do some like natural yeah, yeah. Um, it was like It was like or... a supplement, like a, yeah. like a mineral supplement, I don't know, something like that, that um, our fertility doctor recommended. Mm -hmm. um, and it seemed to work because we had 
seven, six. So we had one Girl, the first time, and I think we had six. Six. The we had six time. minus one five. So I think we still have six left or five. Um, it's yeah, like between five something and like six. that. Something like that. That that yeah. that sounds right. Yeah. So yeah. Um, which is really exciting, right? Because now we have more to, you know, to go off on. If it didn't work the first time around, we wouldn't have to do the egg retrieval again. Right. So it would be like basically soy portion of it would be complete. And I'm sure for her, like she can speak to her journey that it was not easy, like having to take injections and, yeah, you know, hormones and like all bloat of was real because yeah. basically I had to take shots in my stomach on two sides. Um, for like a month. It was no, it was the first month. It wasn't a month. I don't remember the exact. Time. It was a long <laughs> time. It was back to back, and I had yeah. to like get up at like six a.m. sometimes. So then I got close to retrieval and like take shots of a special like other yeah, thing. That's supposed to be something. She'd seen the doctor like every two every day. every two days. I would go in and they would yeah. check. They would check the size of the follicles and make sure that everything's growing mm -hmm. accordingly. Um, so yeah, it was definitely a lot. Uh, a lot <laughs> yeah. um, compared to the first time where I really I was just there for moral support you know I was like what do you need me to do like kind of thing so yeah. it, was, it was different this time around um, but you know we're very grateful because IVF does have a higher success rate where you know the first time around we had five rounds of I yes, I, of I, IUIs. I, IUI, yes I was confused I'm like wait what um, <laughs> yes five rounds of IUI so I know we've received a lot of questions like on Instagram just like people asking like did it hurt so you can speak to that like in your experience your portion of it like was it painful um, like how would you describe it overall I mean I would say I would say it was painful um, uncomfortable for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, the retrieval part, I was out like a light. Yeah, I didn't remember anything. Sleep, um, oh man, that thing was portion. We have fantastic, phenomenal yeah. doctors. We're so grateful. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change, y'all. <laughs> I am growing a child at nine months <laughs> pregnant. She be yawning even when she don't yawn. Okay. Um, very grateful for our team of doctors. Yeah. They were like, oh my God, like <laughs> the best team yeah. ever. Yeah. So sweet, so like making sure we're okay. Um, and they're very, um, I will say, so if anyone's looking at this TTC video, like, you know, trying to get more knowledge about what they should do or, or what clinic they should go with, make sure that your clinic is putting your, your well being first mm -hmm. and not trying to just make sure that you get pregnant. I know that's the goal for everyone. But if you implant too many embryos, there's so many other risks that can go in, yeah. into it. So having a clinic that really looks out for what's best for you in the long run versus like not right now, that's really ultimately what you should be looking for in a clinic. Yeah, for sure. Um, so overall, you would just say like it was more so like uncomfortable, not necessarily painful. Yeah, I would say uncomfortable. Um, at post retrieval, I would say nothing more than like period cramps but not even like the worst ones like you know like day two or three kind of thing um so yeah i mean everyone's pain tolerance is different so don't quote me okay because i mean overall it was okay for me like they were like oh no heavy lifting no doing this kind of stuff and i thought that i was fine like maybe two days after like i didn't have any oh no one of those symptoms. retrievals sway was like doing she's like pain doing too much i'm like you need to relax <laughs> i'm fine i'm fine i don't feel anything and then like two days later it hit her and it was like <laughs> wait no i'm not fine i'm like yeah you need to sit down somewhere um but um, it's kind of cool this time around because like you know she gets to participate um and I, at this point like i'm just waiting for what is it called um implant implantation day or right transfer day transfer day girl transfer. We, mm. it's called transfer day. i'm just for waiting um for transfer day, like yeah. when they're gonna transfer the embryos. So now, moving on to sorry, I'm like I don't know. I'm so pregnant. <laughs> um, okay, so that was portion number one, and we'll insert some clips um, also too, so like y'all can like see different portions that we we did record some of it, not yes. all of it, but we'll uh, insert that now. So okay, you guys. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I look crazy but hopefully tonight is the last night of the trigger trigger the meds menu pure something like that some mm -hmm. some sound like that yeah so this is day 11 10 something like yeah, that something like something that, like that. 
Um, so I have a doctor appointment in the morning and then we'll see whether or not I have to trigger it tomorrow night. And then yes. this will be the last of this one and yes. the other one. Yes. So let's get right into it. just made it and we get ready to walk into the doctor's office. I'm gonna have to go to the doctor for a minute really bad. Um so I can't even focus right now. But super excited to see the baby dust as sticky with like sticky uh baby dust. Baby dust. What's sticky? Sticky. No like so that it's sticky. Oh okay. Yeah. Sticky sticky. Um yes yeah, so we will try to get like some little like BTS out maybe like have some like, BTS BTS so like you can see inside the doctor's office if you yeah, because it's cute. Yeah, it is really cute. And then I'll update you um, when we come out and let you know how to do it. So we won't talk your ears off. Um, <laughs> we will wrap up this video. We'll do a part two yeah. um, so that we can like update you on you know what else happened <laughs> when our TTC journey. But we are very excited. Yeah, we're ready, and our lives are about to change. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a little crazy. Um, but thank you again for riding with us on this journey and still supporting us. We cannot thank you enough. From the bottom of our hearts, really. Everyone who's still rocking with us since, I don't even know what year we started this, 2017? 20, whatever. Mm -hmm. We cannot <laughs> close out this video without some support. <laughs> So much for your kind words you know she always sends messages to us um definitely been riding since day one we appreciate you thank you so much for being part of the soldier fam yes and if you want a chance to be a part of next videos <laughs> next week because i'm gonna hold us to it right next videos super stubby shout out what do you have to do comment down below something positive on this video okay make sure you hit that like button of course make sure you subscribe to our channel that'd be and make sure your post notifications are turned on it's so simple and we'll be back with more videos. Bye. Bye.